The Nuremberg trials of the Nazi leaders lasted almost a whole year from November 1945 to October 1946. The entire trial was recorded on film. Every word of what was said is still kept on multiple audio carriers. Many people have seen this heartbreaking picture the most brutal and inhuman people of the 20th century are laughing in their heartstrings right in the courtroom. If you don't know the criminals by sight, it would be difficult to understand who was on trial. And because it was an international tribunal, it was attended by representatives of many nationalities the British, the French, citizens of the USSR, the United States and the defendants themselves the top leadership of Nazi Germany. The statute of the Nuremberg Tribunal stated every word spoken must be translated into a language that the defendant will understand. As a consequence, the Nazis were issued with special headphones, through which the prompter would instantly translate every word of the prosecution in defense. Such an opportunity was given not only to the Nazis, but to every participant in the trial. It is worth getting to the answer to the question what made the Nazis laugh, after all. Every experienced lawyer uses the services of assistance. One of the attorneys asked his aide to file the necessary document. Perhaps due to excitement, the aide almost mistakenly provided the judge with a book by Alfred Rosenberg called The Myth of the 20th Century. This work describes in detail why the Aryan race is superior to all others. The lawyer muttered in bewilderment idiot, why are you giving me this crap? Due to an incongruous set of circumstances, the lawyer forgot to turn off his microphone. Just after this phrase there was laughter in the courtroom, because everyone at the tribunal could hear everything that was said, actually through the headphones. Throughout the entire trial the side of the accused had behaved inappropriately. It was as if they did not accept, or did not want to accept, reality. Most of the defendants were confident in their total defense. The plan was for the Nazis to delay the trial as long as possible. But the international community was a little smarter than that, and did not let themselves be fooled again. A large part of the defendants were given the death penalty, and some of them received life sentences. It is safe to assume that this was the last time these flaws in society were laughed at in public. Justice was restored, no one went unpunished.